Yo, 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 it's your boy, and I'm back with one more review for the day. Man, y'all already know before I leave out the day, I always like to hit y'all with something extraordinaire. Man, this pair right here, I ain't gonna lie, not only is they extraordinaire, they're a rare pair. I'm talking about, man, the most hype pair. I'm talking about, man, like something. Something, man, great. Something great, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. I already know what time it is. And, uh, man, y'all already know how I say, man, this channel right here, like, we speak all real crock talk. And, man, before I even open this box, before I even bust this down, man, we check these boys out and talk about them. Man, I want to speak my piece, man. <sighs> man, Salehi, man, like, Boy, I'm talking about, like, can you make it any harder for us? Like, I'm talking about, like, if you a real true crockhead, like, you most definitely was disappointed, like, with the process on this release. Like, everything about this release, like, it just hurts you. Especially, like, when you known for getting your hands on the rap pals and all that good stuff like that, man. He really, like... He really like nerve wrecked me a whole lot with this shoe. Cause I'm talking about like even from down to the original colors, like man, I really had wanted this shoe. And it's crazy, man, like what I had to go through, the hoops, like the, the pressing stages that I had to go through, like all that just to get me a pair. Like, I feel like Salehi, like man, like, just like, I mean, Kanye, like, Kanye was like that mentor, like just to, just to see what Kanye went through, like, everybody know, like, what the Yeezys, like, when they first, like, started, when Kanye first started doing the Yeezys, it was pretty much, like, a needle in a haystack. It pretty much was, like, only celebrities was getting them or something. Like, the shoe wasn't even coming out, like, almost. Fast forward to now, he, like, making it a little more lenient to grab the shoes, now making it a little more accessible for everybody. And then what happened, like, being that status, like just off of the sneaks alone. So it was like, like me, I feel like Salehi watching all that, like he should have known like, man, let me go ahead, like not only do something big, but just make it accessible for the people. I feel like, man, with how hype this shoe was, like just off of the first couple of uh, colorways, I feel like he would have been halfway to being that status. If he would have released the shoe properly, like just like, making it like almost near impossible to get the shoe. Like it really, it really stopped a lot of money in my opinion. And like, I feel like, man, you could have been on top of the, the Everglades right now with this release. If you would have just, man, like not released it in the stores. Cause I feel like it is a top notch shoe. It don't belong like in a crock store, just sitting on a rack, but at least made it more accessible for everybody. Made it more easy for majority of the masses to get it. Because man, this shoe is really is really a, a piece of art. You know what I'm saying? And like it really was devastating, bro. Like real talk. Like if you see this man, like the next couple of releases, bro, just let us have them. Like let us get them, man. Like go on here, run the money up, man. Go on hit the billion that status. Cause in my opinion, this is the most hype, but the most well put together claw right now as of right now for Crocs. Like, go argue with your mama if you don't agree. I feel like anybody that say otherwise, they really was just low key mad because the shoe wasn't easy to get. And I understand because I was in that same place, like just thinking to myself like, man, that shoe ain't even all that. And I really was just low key butt hurt because I couldn't get my hands on them. Well, I could get my hands on them, but I like to pay retail for stuff like, like, I'm one of those guys, like, I pay for what I want, but, man, like, I re I'm really, like, cheap in a sense. So, man, I am really like to spend the retail price. Unfortunately for these, I bought these off of StockX, so I didn't pay a uh, retail price. But I had to get my hands on them, man. You know, man, like, some of my crackheads, they was waiting on me to get these boys. They was waiting on me to dissect them. I've been waiting to just get them just to have them, period. Know what I'm saying? I finally got them. This colorway right here is the crocodile colorway. Oh yeah, let me tell y'all something crazy. Like this, this pair right here, I had ordered a few days before Father's Day. I was like, man, it's time for me to go ahead and 
get me some of these Salehis, man. And what better way than just to reward myself for Father's Day? Fast forward Father's Day. Tell me why my big bro, man. Shout out to my bro Smooth, man. Boy, you you a real one, boy. Real talk. He come up in here with two clear lids, which is the cucumbers and the mincha, whatever, the tan ones. He come in here with the clear lids with the OGs. I'm like, bro, that is not what I think it is. So, man, shout out to you again. That's why I was telling y'all, man, it's been a great day. It's been a great week because I just been getting crock mail left to right. Talking about, man, boy, came in here with them OG joints. And it just, man, like, just made my day. Like, especially with him, like, I mean, he spent a lot of money all the time anyway. But for him to just go out his way like that, and get them boys right there for me, them authentic joints. Man, I appreciate you, bro. Love you long time for that, but man, let's go on ahead and crack in on these boys, which to me is my favorite, which why I decided to go with this review first. And these boys right here, man, no other than the rawest pal thus far. Them crocodiles, the crocodile dundees. Yes, sir. Let's talk about this uh, box first before I uh, hold them shoes up. Man, having the OGs like the box is like totally different. It's like this soft styrofoam texture with the clear lid. So most definitely downgraded as far as the box. I still like this box with the with the print with the bottom of the shoe on it. You know what I'm saying? The Crocs logo on the side with the signature uh, on the bottom. I do still like that about it, but man, it was a downgrade on the box. I would have stayed with them clear lids, uh, most definitely. But yeah, man, the Salehis, man. And as y'all can see, those them crocodile joints right there. Man, these boys here, man. Like when I say these, a work of art, a headache, but man, a work of art. Like I'm talking about like down to the T, like down to the straps. Like, everything about this shoe, man, is just a piece of art, man. I'm talking about, it. boy, I ain't gonna lie. If you didn't do so good on this shoe, I, I wouldn't have nothing nice to say at all. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have nothing nice to say. Like, as hard as it was to get these shoes, man, I wouldn't have nothing nice to say at all. But just to get this shoe in my hand, it just, I ain't gonna lie, it take away all, it take away all the pain that and all the heartache that you caused me, man. Like, Real talk, like, let's just start with the, just the, the custom fingerprint, like, that's crazy, like, just the custom fingerprint, like, running all throughout the shoe, from the top all the way down to the bottom, and man, what's, what's so loud about the fingerprint, uh, thing to me is, just thinking about, like, seeing your shoes everywhere, and it's just like, man, I got my hands on those, like, literally, like, man, that's like loud right there. I like how he had put that gum addition on the top of the shoe and he let it run down to the bottom. Know what I'm saying? Which is like more of like a plastic type texture. And I'm guessing he put the plastic type texture sticking out with the 3D vibe just for the shoe can have a, a longer durability to it. Because the shoe is basically like a nice soft texture foam. Know what I'm saying? So... Of course, you have to add that bottom to it just to give it that durability, you know what I'm saying? So it won't be too much wear and tear on that um on that uh bottom. And uh man, like let's talk about it. just going back to the difficulty and how hard it was to get these shoes. Like, I really feel like, man, if you just had put the shoes out, like it would avoid a lot of stuff, like for one, like the resellers, you know what I'm saying? No shade to my resellers, know what I'm saying? Get y'all money, but man, that would you would have avoided reselling like crazy resale prices. You would have avoided the most thing, what I think is the most important is the replicas. Know what I'm saying? If you've been paying attention, like they got they got a lot of replicas going around with this shoe. And it's crazy, man, because when I ordered the shoe, I had to do like a deep QC on what I could with the pictures of the replicas. And uh Man, to be honest with you, it wasn't really no difference in the shoe. Like, the only differences I noticed with the reps is like the holes 
on the retails, they like slightly slimmer. So that's like a little difference, but you gotta like be nitpicking to see that. And what else I noticed, like the feel of the, the material, know what I'm saying? You can't really just tell based off of the pictures. So that right there, you wouldn't be able to notice. And then like the straps, the straps looked at the same. You wouldn't notice the straps. Another thing that I could tell was the um the font. I don't know if y'all can see that font, but like on the pictures of the reps, like the font is like more of a sharpened like type font. On on the retails, it's more of like a bubble type font or whatever. And the reason why I say like with texture, I seen a lot of people saying like texture, but if you don't ever have the, the shoe in your hand, how would you know what the texture is going to be on it? So that right there, like other than the front, and I think some people had said something about the strap, uh, something about an N instead of an H. Like other than that, like it's really hard to tell. And I really wish he would have just had dropped the shoe to avoid that. You know what I'm saying? Because a part of me just like, I mean, I really like buying out the stores and even though StockX is 100% authentic, a part of me just be like, man, you never know. Because, man, when I tell you like the pictures that I've seen on reps, it's just like, it's crazy, ridiculous. And it's like, bro, you could have avoided all that. Hadn't you just released the shoe and let everybody get action at it? Kind of like how they did with the Lazy O's. And uh, all the other recent pairs that dropped, like they actually put them on the site and uh, just waited till they sold out. That would have been better action. A lot of more people would have had chances at getting them. You know what I'm saying? But man, just detail wise, man, I ain't gonna lie. These are most definitely a 20 out of 10. And uh, <laughs> it's crazy because I never said anything about like, the crazy ratings that I be, I know I be like 12 out of 10, 15 out of 10. Like anything over 10, it's just over uh, expectations. And uh, with these being a 20 out of 10, for me, that's just like, it's just doubled the expectations. Like everything that I was expecting in a shoe and more. You know what I'm saying? I haven't tried them on yet, but I can tell by the inside, it's like a terrain built shoe. So I am noticing that and I'm guessing that's why everybody saying like size down or whatever, because um, it's like roomy fit. So you want to most definitely like size down. If you one of them people that don't like your feet to move around, man, me, this being the first pair that I had ordered, I had just went size down, you know what I'm saying? Cause everybody kept saying size down, size down, size down. So Leahy himself kept saying size down. So I was like, man, I don't want to be high headed and get my regular size. So I sized down. I wear a size 12. I had got a size 11 in these. So, and uh, I tried them on just to slide my feet in them. They do fit, but I haven't worn them yet just to really tell like comfortability wise. But just guessing off of them and being a real crockhead, having many different styles, I can tell this style look like more of the Terrain style. So I would say if you're looking to get these size down in these boys, man, like Salehi, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like you really, really stuck your foot out there with these. And I didn't mention the fact that other than, um, who is that? St. Quans, other than the St. Quans, Salehi the only other person that actually took a crop and like put like a totally different identity on it. Like uh, St. Quan's with the moon uh, slide, I call it. Just a different look, you know what I'm saying? It was just something totally different, totally refreshing. Same thing with these Polex clogs, like, looks nothing like Crocs, other than the fact of the Terrain strap, you know what I'm saying? Which I love, by the way, y'all know I love Terrain, so this was a great addition for me, adding the Terrain strap. And of course, they got it on here where you can go two different ways with it. I think I'm gonna be more of a uh, to the front guy, kind of like that, kind of like got like a swag to it to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna rock them out like that. Kind of got that, uh, I do like me, I do like a behind the uh, ankle part. 
know what I'm saying, sports mode, or you could do or on the leg uh, sports mode. So it's three different ways you can play with these joints. And man, this colorway, I ain't gonna lie, in person, this colorway is sick. I mean, like, I was thinking a whole different green, but actually getting them in my hands, they like that real live uh, crop green. You know what I'm saying? I got some crop scrubs. That's this color green. So they really most definitely that uh, crop color green. And man, like, I ain't gonna lie, man. These boys here, like I said, a headache, but most definitely hold them in them in my hands. I can say, man, a 20 out of 10 on these joints. Man, the most hot, hot crack, uh, the most, whoa, hold on. The most hype crocs yet. The Salehi Benberries. Like, man, this is sick. And now I'm even noticing, like, um, the cereal, the, the the cereal up under there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you could pick that up on the camera, but it got like some cereal numbers up under the um up under the uh, gum bottom. And man, that gum bottom, like I always been a sucker for gum bottom, like even back with the Jordans, like just different gum bottom sneaks, like so he really did it for me with that. It's just like man, like. Who all got these? Like, I know not many uh, have them because it was just a needle in a haystack getting. A lot of people not about paying their, their resale price. To be honest with you, I wasn't really about it. But um, to be honest with you, I had got a, a $100 tip for, uh, for doing something at my job. And I was just like, man, there you go right there. I had 50 more dollars with them because I had paid 151 for these, you know what I'm saying, on the bed. And uh, I'm gonna be doing a video on all the colorways. I do have the Urchin and the Stratus. I'm in live bid for them right now. So I'm waiting on the uh, bid to finish out on them. Hopefully I'll get them in soon. That way I can do the colorways on them. That would make five out of the five pairs for me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to present y'all with the colorways. We're going to talk all different colorways. We're going to talk about the different boxes. And, uh, yeah, we're going to dive in on them. But, uh, yeah, y'all, tell me what y'all think about these. The impossible to get to ladies. Drop comments down low. Man, let's really talk about these joints. What y'all think about these, man?